It is a light heavyweight showdown between Alexander Gustafson and John Jones. All right, here we go, round one, John Jones versus Alexander Gustafson, and if anybody can talk about both sides of this matchup, DC, it's you, your thoughts on their third meeting here today. The stops has to make some adjustments. In the second fight, he looked a little bit lost. He looked as though he allowed Jones to make the necessary adjustments that he needed to make. Now he's down 0-2. Motivation will not be enough. His full skill needs to be on display in this rematch. And they both stand up. Oh. oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Beautiful knee. Oh, straight right. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Beautiful body kick. Just misses with the jab there. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrill with this ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Alexander Gustafson. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Alexander Gustafs. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful kick. All right, what a five minutes it was, DC. Take us through the replay if you would. The story of the round was the knees. Every and mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Gustafson. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, but there you go. Right there. Well, Gustafson's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. It's not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Wow! Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up. 
get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. Wow, actually got the takedown. Just over two minutes now to go. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu man. He's out. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Five seconds now to go on the round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. Then. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Ten minutes in the books. especially from a striking standpoint, DC takes it. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. You gotta check these low leg kicks. How good is that right here? What a big DC time. Gets take a double leg takedown. Nice job there disguising his entry. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Ooh, elbow from the bottom lands to the head. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Alexander Gustafson. That is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big grounded pound. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground to him. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, the grounded pound is there once again. Strong work here by Gustafson. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. All right, the unofficial numbers thus far, 76 total strikes have landed for Alexander Gustafson. Well, landing at a pretty good clip as well. 67% accuracy thus far against John Jones. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Another shot lands upstairs. Shot land. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, nice jab to the head by Gustafson. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. 
Gustafson's strike attempt there is blocked. Not there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Gustafson. Let's get you some highlights now as this one goes the distance, DC, and a lot to like in terms of his takedown game really took it to that requisite next level here tonight. He took it to the next level. He's a guy that you know what's coming. You know that you have to defend the wrestling. But even if you're trying to prepare for it, you never are in the training room with anyone that is just like him. And when you come into contact with him, you understand the difference in training opposed to being there with him. He put the grind on this guy, and he got a convincing victory. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' score cards for a decision. The judges scored the contest 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Alexander the Mauler Gustafsson! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He 